Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to solve this given exponential equation 0 0.01 whole power x equals to 11. And now we are going to solve for x. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and take the log on both sides. So we can write this one as log of 0. 0, 1 whole power x equals to, we are going to take the log on the right hand side as well. And now let's go ahead and apply this power rule. According to this rule, we can move this exponent all the way in the front. So therefore, we can write x times log of 0. 0, 1 equals to log of 11 on the right hand side. And now let's focus on this value in the argument 0 0.01. And here I have copied it down. And now we can write this decimal notation into this fraction 1 over 100. Now this 100 could be written as a 10 power 2. And now if we move this uh, 10 power 2 to the top, this is going to become 10 power negative 2. So therefore, we can uh, replace this 0 0.01 by simply 10 power negative 2, as you can see over here. So therefore, this equation is going to become x times log of 10 power negative 2 equals to on the right hand side we are going to keep the same log of 11 and now let's recall this power rule once again we are going to apply over here so this negative 2 we are going to move it all the way to the front so therefore we can write this one as a negative 2 times x log of 10 equals to log of 11 on the right hand side and now let's focus on this log of 10 and we can see that its base is missing such kind of log is called a common log and whose base is 10 by default so therefore a common log has always the base 10 so therefore in our case this unknown base is going to be 10 and now let's recall this logarithmic property as long as this argument and this base are same. So this is always equal to 1. So therefore our this log of 10 with the base 10 is going to be 1. So therefore I can write negative 2x times this value is simply 1 equals to log of 11. So therefore our equation is going to become negative 2x equals to log of 11. Now let's go ahead and divide both sides by negative 2 to solve for x. So therefore this cancels out. So we got our x value turns out to be negative 1 over 2 times log of 11. Let's go ahead and apply this power rule once again. So that means this is going to become the exponent. So therefore x could be written as equal to log of 11 power negative 1 over 2. And now let's focus on this 11 power negative 1 over 2. And here I have copied it down 11 power negative 1 over 2. And we can make this uh, negative exponent as positive if we can put it uh, in the denominator. So this become 1 over 11 power 1 over 2. Now we know that 11 power 1 over 2 is same as uh, square root of 11. And now let's go ahead and rationalize this denominator by multiplying and divided by square root of 11 on both sides. So this could be written as on the top 1 times square root of 11 is same as square root of 11 
divided by square root of 11 times square root of 11 is going to be simply 11. So therefore we are going to replace this 11 power negative 1 over 2 by this square root of 11 divided by 11. So therefore our x value turns out to be log of square root of 11 divided by 11 and that is our solution. So thus our solution turns out to be x equal to log of square root of 11 divided by 11 and if we use a calculator our x value is going to be approximately equal to negative 0.521. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.